Hey doll peeps. This package here came in today. A nice big hefty, oh. <laughs> a nice big hefty package, you know, full of doll clothes. After organizing all of my fashion doll clothes, I realized I actually didn't have enough male clothes for my liking. So I ordered this and I figured I, you know, let you guys see what I got. Almost every other lot I'll get, like the whole lot will be something I want to keep. But more than often, I actually get a lot of dog clothes where it's like 98% or 75% of the lot I do want to keep and the rest of it is just stuff that I don't care for. So I'm actually going to go through this bag instead of just dumping it all in the, in the trunk. I need to thank whoever this note comes from. I don't know who you are, but it's signed the monster hunters and and you guys it signed the monster hunters and you guys sent me this adorable little guy look at him guys he's so cute let me see look. he's so cute he's so cute and he's so squishy ah oh, he's adorable thank you thank you i i wasn't expecting him but He's going to fit in so perfectly in my collection. In fact, I think I know who he belongs to in my collection. Yeah, I think I know who he belongs to. <laughs> so let's get into these clothes now. I'm almost certain I've got pants that match this. This jacket is adorable. I love stuff like this. Probably not going to keep this because it just it feels very cheap keeping this because I think this might fit my slim MSDs. I'm definitely keeping this because this is this is <laughs> probably not gonna keep this. Um maybe I can find something to do with it. I have so 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 many of these and I keep I keep them every time I get them because I I love this. It's like a it's like a wrap that goes around the dresses that are very, I want to say 1950s, 1930s, inspired by Barbie. Yeah, this is pretty adorable. I love this. It's cute. I'm keeping it. I love it. It's got snaps. It's very nice. Very nice. It isn't lined, but it's finished well enough where uh, the quality could be used on BJDs, in my opinion. This is nice. Of course, you can't get a Barbie lot without getting a floofy, beautiful Barbie dress. I'm keeping this. Probably not going to keep this because I have this top already. This is going to look really cute on, like, pulips and stuff. I think this is handmade. I don't think this is Barbie. Plain white shirt. Keeping. I love this and it's got pants to match it. This would be really cute for Applejack because he can fit into a lot of kin sized pieces. This is a Barbie jacket, crop top jacket, crop jacket, but I'm probably gonna use it on Ken because all my Kins are pretty gay, so yeah. Sweater type thing, suede suit jacket. I'm almost certain I have this. Keeping because oh my God, I do not have any decent button up shirts in my opinion. This is adorable. Oh my god, this is going to be so cute. It's like an oversized sweater on um, on like a Blythe. This is going to be cute. I, I love this. This is probably going to go on somebody like as soon as I finish this video. This shirt, I'm not sure where it's from, but it's cute. It's cute enough to be a crop top. Boxer shorts, it's always good. Panties. I have these. Oh yeah, these are Barbie panties. This is, I think this is handmade because there are no Ken or Barbie tags on it. Kind of looks like it was made from the same pattern as, yeah, that's what I thought. I think these are handmade and these are probably somebody else's patterns. Another suede uh, blazer jacket thingy. Keeping pants. This, this probably goes with, uh, it probably doesn't go together, but I think it would. Pants, another coat. It's nice, and it's lined with like red patterns here. Let's see if you guys can see that. Yeah, nice cute little skirt. This is really cute. This is so my style. Like, look, it's got like stripes. <laughs> I love stuff like this. It's got stripes, and then like the polka dots, and then it's also got gathering here, and then lace as well. 
I'm keeping this. This is so me. Now, I think these pants go with this. Um, but the thing is, I like the pants. I don't like the top. The pants, I'll keep. But I'll get rid of the top. Another pretty dress. These, I was so ready for these. They're probably, yeah, they're shedding to high hell. These were like 80s uh, pants. Now this I know is Barbie. And it's, um, well, Ken. And it's, it was, it's like pleather. And it's peeling like hell, to be honest. Like, look. It's like getting all over my hands and stuff. It's peeling pretty bad, but I, I, I want these. I really do. <laughs> I don't even care if they're peeling because I can make that work in, a, in an outfit. I think I might put it in, I actually think I might put this in like a little baggie so these little white pieces don't get all over the rest of the clothing. Shorts to a top that I already have. So see, this is another reason why I like doing the whole lot thing because you can always find you know pieces that you have pieces of something that you have that you don't have if that makes sense this is a sweater that tried yeah this is staying no this is adorable oh this is so cute i love sweaters guys this is definitely going to be used on probably applejack some cute pants for barbie some shorts for Barbie, pants that I already own but keeping because these are bay. I'm probably going to distress the fuck out of these because the other ones are still intact. Pants that I'm not keeping because I don't like the quality. Okay, this, this is another piece that I was super excited for because oh my god, look at all that print! Okay guys, I don't know if I've said this enough, but I fucking love stuff that looks like this. In fact, I frequently go on eBay buying pants, specifically vintage pants from like the 80s and 70s and stuff in human size for myself because I, I love stuff like this. Yeah. It's always good to have pants for Ken, you know. I love this. And they have a snap in the back as well. That's another reason I like vintage pants. Um, I only paid like eight bucks, eight, uh, eight bucks, 30 cents. That includes the shipping. So yeah, I, l I lucked the fuck out. I really did. But I always try and do that. I, I like to coin myself a really good bidder. So this is not only a pair of pants, but also shorts in the same print. Now, I think these might be handmade. I think it's cute. Adorable. These are cute. Oh, these are really cute. The person that had these clothes before me that I bought them from, she she or he really took wonderful care of their fashions because none of them are really wrinkled. You know, they aren't really badly wrinkled, in my opinion. I've gotten some lots where everything's like literally balled up into a ball of bullshit. And you just think to yourself, why the hell did I even buy this? I think I have a couple of these skirts. Still keeping though, I like it. I'm probably gonna use it as a onesie because I like shit like that. Some Ken shorts of a really cute color. This this is this will look really cute with that uh, Donald Duck shirt. These are like red acid wash. That is nice. I like this. I would honestly wear the absolute hell out of these pants if they were like human size. Really pretty plain pleated skirt. These are like track pants. I think these are awesome. Oh man, I wish I could find the fabric that this was made of. I would love to make a jacket out of this. Oh yeah, I remember these. Okay, so this is like, it's like a onesie where they've taken Ken's outfit and merged it together. Um, but it's still fully printed and everything. It's far higher quality than the one printed things that you get nowadays. It is a cute outfit for um, Barbie. I think this is a skirt or maybe a top for a smaller doll. I'm not sure. I'm not keeping it anyway. And it's actually really, really nice quality. 
Oh god, I love it. the fabric. Just feels so nice. It feels like one of my shirts. More acid wash, and there's a stain here. I think this is. Oh no, this isn't a stain. This is just hot glue. I think I'm almost certain I can get this off. Oh, and we're coming to the, the end of the bag finally. All right, we got some sweatpants. A nice top. But I'm peeling this off because I don't like that shit. There you go, a nice basic. Oh, this is the thing. I love having basics because then I can build the outfit. Another beautiful made top. I'm not even sure if this is actually Barbie. Another top. Um, there are shorts to go to this. This is the big pile of kin clothes. And then I have a little itty bitty stack of like Barbie clothes, you know, that I got in conjunction with kin clothes. Um, so yeah, I don't know how many pieces that was. I didn't even count them, to be honest. There's a little pile of stuff that I'm probably either going to give away, maybe give to my sister, probably going to donate to the, to the thrift store. Maybe I'll chop it up and turn it into stuff. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But this is not going in my trunk because I'm not, I don't think I'm going to keep it. And yeah, that's, that's really all I have for you guys today right now. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.